And we are here with Hall of Famer and legend, Canada's very own Trish Stratus. Welcome to Vancouver Thank for you. WrestleCore and the Vancouver Warriors. I know. WrestleCore is invading the Vancouver Warriors here in Vancouver. So my first question for you is, yes. do you have any memories of Vancouver? Like, is there anything that... Oh, what? I mean, listen, when I go anywhere in Canada, yeah. it's like a hometown feel. That's true. And we always say, as Canadians, like, you know, the U.S. people, they got their hometowns. We have a hometown that's like an entire country. Like, yeah. I will get that welcome from anywhere across the entire country, which is so That amazing. is like the coolest thing about Canada. It's like when the Raptors were in the yeah. finals and all of Canada's all like, that's Canada. our team. That's yeah. it, right? So I love that. So huge memories. Last time I was here was like over 10 years ago. I yeah. launched my Stratosphere fitness equipment. Uh, what is the story you guys have here? London Drugs. Shout out to London <laughs> Drugs. Yeah. <laughs> that's the last time I was here. So this is so great to come out and that's there with awesome. my kids. That's awesome. awesome. Fun. There you go. There yeah. you go. So I had a quick question. Being the wrestling class, like, we talk about a lot of classic wrestling, so I was curious, who were some of your favorites growing up? Macho Man was probably the one that I really yeah. resonated with. It just as like, you know, how charismatic he was. Uh, he had that perfect blend of athleticism and showmanship, which I feel like that's what makes us wrestlers or sports entertainers. Yeah. So he, I mean, I was a Hulkamaniac, of course, everyone was. Yeah. But yeah, he was the one that I really liked, was like, that's cool. That's what I relate to. So we just had Raw 30 celebrating 30 years of Monday Night Raw. Yeah. I was curious, do you have a favorite moment from your time on Monday Night Raw? Because you had a lot of years where you were on that show and you were killing it. Ooh. <laughs> uh, my favorite moment it's so hard on raw you know i really think my last mat my last raw match bittersweet of course because it was my last one but before i retired yeah I retired, <laughs> with mickey james there you, you go. know and having that like closure for our feud and just like closing off and it was a bit of like a passing torch moment for us um so that was great so you're in the hall of fame lita's in the hall of fame molly holly's in there mm -hmm. ivory's in there mm -hmm. is there anyone that was in the business while you were in the business that you think there's this to be in the WWE Hall of Fame that might not have been inducted yet? The aforementioned Mickey James. Yeah. That's for sure. I'd like to see Victoria. Yeah. Like, soon would be great. Like, I think she's well deserving. I think she's underrated. You know, I, I do so many interviews and people ask me about different feuds and different, you know, rivalries. And it's like that one is like when you really break it down, that was like the real. I feel like when we were doing women's wrestling was like trying to just turning the corner as far as like being taken serious. That's like it was those matches with her that yeah. were like, okay, no, this is actually legit and this is a viable part of the entire show. So yeah, Victoria so, for the Hall of Fame. Victoria for the Hall of Fame. A really like more of a fun question. Say if you were to come back for like a team Trish versus a team leader at a Survivor Series or a War Games. Who would you put on your team of five to Ooh. represent Teams Trish Travis? Okay, so all current? All current. Oh my god. It could be either company. I, either, well, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put Britt, Britt Baker on my okay. team. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put Mickey James. Yeah. Okay, that's the other two. Side. Okay. Um, I got two more, right? Three more. Three more. Okay. Um, who, and it's got to be all females? Yeah. Okay. Um, Asuka. Okay. Becky Lynch, she's, uh, she's amazing. Yeah. Who's our last one? Who should we put as our last one? I would put Bianca. Bianca Belair? Yeah. Solid, solid. I think that's a solid team. team. Now I'm curious, though, that you said that, though. If it was men, who would you put on there? If it was what? Men. Oh, uh, hmm. that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, let's see. I would put Brock Lesnar, Ricochet, Kevin Owens, um, and the Bollywood Boys. Oh, there you go. Uh -huh. They're here somewhere. So I did? They're here somewhere. Did I did uh, yeah, you did. Yeah, that was good. That was smart. <laughs> Um, another thing that you've been doing recently that's really, really cool is that you've been obviously on Canada's Got Talent. Yes. So talking about that, I'm very curious. What is like the coolest, most impressive performance you've seen thus far? I know there's a lot. Oh, that would be my golden buzzer that you guys will see starting shortly in March. We will begin the season. Yeah. Season two is incredible. Yeah. Um, you know, season one was amazing as well, but I think you know, more people, more awareness. People were like, they were like, this is my chance. They yeah. saw the success of our winner from last year, you know, uh, Janique. So I think like, yeah, the, my golden buzzer will blow people's minds. I'm getting goosebumps yeah. to see this. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's so, it's such an emotional performance. And of course it's, um, I won't tell you much about it because I can't, but I appreciate it as a performer yeah. who's athletic. That's all I'm going to say. That about means that. you got to tune in to see what gotta it is. Tune in. You got to tune in for the golden buzzer. <laughs> Lastly, I wanted to quickly ask you, um, there's a lot of like, so I've been running my page for a few years now and I've seen a lot of girls that are just starting to train, um, just breaking into the business, and obviously you're an inspiration for a lot of them. So if you could give them any sort of advice, anything that you'd want them to know 
if you could like go back and talk to a younger you, yeah. like what advice would you go and give them at this point? A couple things. So number one is finding your character and finding your voice out there. The more you remain uh, closer to your authentic self is so important. I think like that's what really makes it click with people when they see that true. Listen, be character as well, but there's like got to be that element of authenticity that like really makes yeah. people go and they get it and it really feels good and and, uh, and it resonates with them. So there's that number one. Number two, um, I always say get a solid training whenever kids like I'm wrestling now and what should I do? I was like get a solid foundation of course. But yoga, man, I'm telling yoga? you, like, the, like if I could still go, it's because of the yoga in my life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just such a great asset for any worker to have because it's like just helps the movement. And, oh, it's part of. We're time. getting lighting, we the gotta, music on. Yeah, I don't you know, know what's what going means. on. It means yeah. we're about to like. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're gonna, yeah. We're doing some They're getting hyped we're up for the Trish meet and greet here in Vancouver for WrestleCore That's right. and the Vancouver Warriors. And then you know, we're gonna head over to Rogers Arena. We're gonna watch. Take, we're gonna take it on the Saskatchewan Bucks. Yeah. We're gonna beat them. We're hundred percent. We're gonna beat them. hundred percent. I've been to a Vancouver Warriors game. And they whooped Edmonton one time. Nice. I swear. I love yeah. that. And then after that, we're going to have wrestling for action. Yeah, so. there's going to be wrestling at the Vancouver Warriors game, which is super cool. Yeah. Quick word association. <laughs> Um, the lighting change. I know like the lighting change and music started out of yeah. nowhere. But okay. just really quickly, I'm going to give names. Okay. And uh, I'm going to try to remember them off the top of my head. Oh my God. Probably How many tw have you got? 12. Just 12. Oh, just 12. Don't worry. Uh, just a dozen. One word or like whatever. And most of them follow my page, so they're going to see this. Oh, no pressure. So be ready. Obviously, first off, um, you wrestled there, Charlotte Flair. Dominant. Sasha Banks slash Mercedes Monet. Can I say one word or can I say a couple? You can say a couple. I want to wrestle her. You want to wrestle her. She wants to wrestle Sasha Banks. Or Mercedes Monet now, I should get that right. <laughs> Bailey. Solid. Alexa Bliss. You were supposed to wrestle with Versatile. Single. Versatile, okay. Becky Lynch? The man. I mean, that's an obvious one, yeah. but next level. Bianca Belair. Pure 100% athleticism and heart. Rhea Ripley. Oh, beast mode. Zelina Vega. <laughs> She's incredible. Yeah. I'm, really, I'm a big fan of her. I love her. Incredible. Carmella. Oh, I love her too. Oh, gosh, these girls are great. This um, Carmella. First of all, so hot. And yeah. love what she does in the ring. So entertaining. Oscar. Kick ass. Liv Morgan. Uh, her time's coming. Her time's coming. Ronda Rousey. I can take her. Natalia. Legendary. And then we'll do a couple of legends to wrap it up. We got Mickey James. Next Hall of Famer? Uh, the Bella Twins. Crossover. 100%. I think they dominated that crossover for Absolutely. sure. And then um, last but definitely not least, Lita. I mean, I'm just going to say bestie. Yeah. But also like a pioneer. There you go. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank I really you. appreciate it. Hopefully this turns out great. It's going to turn out great. I'm going to be yeah. very satisfying. Hope you guys yeah. are satisfied. Yeah. Time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.